Y'all didn't think I'd let you skip the 10 hour drive with me, did you? Disclaimer, if you're in the fast lane doing less than 70 miles an hour, get out of it! 160 years ago, there were thousands of Civil War troops camped right here. What's up guys and welcome to Virginia. Today we're going to be digging some Civil War huts as well as pits in search of relics and antique bottles. We're going to use our metal detectors to help us locate the trash layers and then hopefully dig up some awesome stuff. And you never know what kind of relics we'll find along the way searching for these pits. So let's get right to it. Right there is uh, Cedar Mountain. It's uh, right there. cool private permission to be able to have and uh, go scope out for the day. My very first target with the Garrett Axiom today is actually a piece of, look at there, y'all tell me what you think it is. Can you tell? That right there is a piece to either like a cannonball or a large shell. So what is referred to as a fragment. That definitely means that we're in the right spot and I'm hoping to find my first Civil War button today. All right, Matt has a bullet in the bottom of the hole, it looks like. Got a ground balance. <laughs> Yeah, literally, this is like stuff that I've never messed with. Oh man, that was nice. That's dropped, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Most everything in here was fired, so I would suspect it was fired to start with. Let's go somewhere. Look at that. That's a beauty too. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They're here. They're big monster bullets in here. So. Well, is that going to be Union or Confederate? Union. Union. Union Cavalry specifically. So they had 69 caliber musket rifled rifles and uh this was a big section of cavalry battle in here so i just pulled this out of the hole right here it's an old horseshoe and it was pretty worn you can tell by how thin it is that's pretty cool to think that that could have been on a horse that uh was hauling a cannon and that fragment that i found earlier could have been fired from that cannon really cool piece so matt has the first button of the day check that out it's a new york coat Monsters. Oh. That is cool. I'd keep the dirt just like that. Man, it looks like it's still got some gilt on it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So what does it say on the bottom? Excelsior. Excelsior. It's their state seal. Wow, that's cool, man. Yes, sir. Right on the other side of the truck, wasn't it? Yeah, right over there. Heck yeah. That's where all the buttons mostly came out of. And it's cool is the New York troops were fighting right here against the Virginia troops. Look at this. I had no idea what it was, so I pulled it out. I come over here and met up with Matt, and I'm like, what is this? He's like, man, that's a Civil War shotgun shell. So that's what they called a pin fire. Pin fire. And you can see the 12 on it. So lo and behold, I don't want to dig shotgun shells, but if I'm going to dig one, I guess that's the one to dig, right? Yes, it is. Heck yeah, we'll take it. So the Virginia soil is highly mineralized, which means you got to use a special type of detector called a pulse machine. Today I'm using the Axiom. And this is a great machine for this type of hunting. You can't just use a regular VLF, that's for sure. I just got an awesome signal there again. This is a different type of machine, so it doesn't have like a readout that I can show y'all numbers. And really the sounds sound very similar too. But here is a harmonica read. And I'm actually getting a bunch of nails right, right here. And I may be in a Civil War hut. So let's keep going and see what else we can find, guys. I'm gonna dig this little spot out and get all the nails out, make sure I'm not missing anything really good. I don't even wanna to talk to this guy. I've been looking for a button all day. He's just pulling them out like- Three and a half. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Nice little cuff with the eagle on it. What's it say on the back? Uh, it'll probably just be a, a Scoville. Yeah, it says Scoville. It's complete though. It's not even crushed. Look at that. Wow, man. Congrats on that one. Yes, sir. That's a day maker, isn't it? Yes, sir. Look at all these holes. You see all the dark spots? Hole, 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 hole. And uh, right here in between it where 100 people have walked today, he just pulled that out. It kind of just shows you it's all about the hunter. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it going. All right, guys, check out this target that I got. I know it's going to be Civil War related. I just don't know what it is. We're going to have to uh, go ask Matt and them. That's a pretty cool little piece though. Uh, Matt's over top of the hill right there. The other Matt's over there. And we've lost the other guys. They're here someplace. Absolutely beautiful area and we are on the relics. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie. I have struggled super hard learning how this soil works out here. Uh, it's been easier for me to pick out the high tones than it has been the low. I just scored my first bullet. Check this out. Right next to the grub right here. Oh, I nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's pretty. 58? I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah. Heck yeah. Well, the Axiom hurt it. It took me a little while to learn, but maybe I've finally broken through that really dry spell and we're gonna just go all crazy now. We will take that, guys. Excited to have it, finally. So check this out. I had no idea what I'm looking at. He's like, hey, clean the base out. Yep. Machine made, JD Custer, uh, six spoke uh, bullet washing arsenal. Heck yeah. Gorgeous. I hate I nailed the side of it. It'll still display from oh, the yeah. side though. This way's perfect, look at that, dropped. Looks great. Heck yeah, Beautiful. we'll take it. Heck yeah, man, congratulations. Well, I got lead in Virginia. Let's get yeah. going. Check it out. He's got something cool. Look at that. Oh, that gum. Show them what, what it used to look like. Yeah, so there's a little bit of gum. They worked on that sucker hard, didn't they? What what they were doing with it. Just being bored. <laughs> man, that's cool as all get out, man. Thank you. Congrats on that one. Thank you, thank you. Oh man, another carved one. You know Matt got one a while ago. Yeah, that carved so, 69. So, yeah. This is a carved 58. So Ross is on the board. Heck yeah. Cool. All she right. was deep too, man. Yeah, that was deep. Yeah. Every bit of 16 inches, 18 inches maybe. <laughs> it's a hook, pull it. It's a knapsack hook. It is. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Look at that. That's cool, man. Wow. We were just talking about those. We ones. were. Right there. Yeah. Off. Heck yeah, buddy. That's cool, man. Relics and relics. Check out the model pieces though. That right there is a heartbreaker. Arbogast, Pittsburgh, yeah. Pennsylvania. Big old whiskey. Yeah, this is this is a good pit. That's awesome, man. So Ross has been gracious enough to share this pit that he found with us, and he's letting us go through the tailings as he's throwing them out. I got the Garrett Pro Pointer out and was going around the top and check it out, guys. That's not a marble. Like you like seeing me find on the channel, this is actually a round ball. And that is awesome, guys. You know, I've never found a round ball, so that's my first. All right, congrats, Yeah, man. that's cool, man. Thank you. Heck yeah. Let's keep it going. He's got some really cool stuff out of here so far. Oh, would you get another piece? Pieces of glass. We're stacking everything over there. Maybe this put is, something back together. Yeah, this is the second. Uh, there's another piece right here you just threw out. That is the second round ball I'm going to set right there. Did get an underwear button a while ago. And y'all got to see the knapsack button already. So there's definitely stuff in here, guys. The pit is still producing. Look at that right there. Big 69 caliber. That's the second one or is that the first That's one? The second one. Second one out of the hole so far. They got a nice pepper sauce piece. Just a second ago, I went and kept on metal detecting. And uh, they got a couple of other really cool pieces. Look at that pepper sauce piece. Absolutely would have been beautiful. It's a heartbreaker. You know, you look at this and you go, well, you're finding a bunch of broken bottles. Why are you still doing it? Because you're doing it on the off chance that there's at least one that survived. Yep. And there could very well be one here. Well, let's think about it too. Not only is it the artifacts that are in it, this in, in itself is an artifact. Yeah. So a lot of people don't look at Civil War pits. Oh, you found you dug a trash pit that had nothing. You know, we found something that was an artifact that explained camp life to American Civil War soldiers. Yep, that's exactly right. That's the way you look at it. It's a true excavation, too, layer by layer. It's a very, very interesting scenario compared to regular bottle digging. I will say that. So these metal detectors will pick up a really rusty area. You end up digging it, it ends up being a hut where the soldier stayed, and there's a beer. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Color behind it, too. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Right. Right. That thing's gorgeous. Yeah. It may beautiful. not be like a nice, expensive one, but they're you know, gorgeous. Why? You never get tired of them. That is awesome. Cool. Wow. Congrats on that. Ships, new pigs. <laughs> I like it. That's cool, man. Great. Right. Right. There's more. Ross is on it again. Oh, look at that ash. You can see the green on it. Oh, that's a cuffy. <laughs> oh, J Hook. Is it? It's a cuff. Heck yeah, buddy. You called it. He said it's a button before he got down there. How in the world did I hear that? He did. Right, all like the way down. He scoops there. in. He's like, this sounds like a button. God. 
Y'all don't know how impressive that is with a pulse that's machine to call your target. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's that a put. See, awful loud yeah. just that Check it again. Dude, that's killer, man. So there was two yeah. buttons in that hole. Look at the button, man. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that's an awful loud tone for just one or two. Minutes. Right. I agree. Two buttons in the same hole. Uh, what? Yep. No. Oh! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's a whole keep, keep going. We're going to count them. He's like, that's the one that's got the really good button. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was seeing if this is uh, Ash or that there, black, yeah. there's another. black rock. But yeah, see? That's Ash. Is it Ash? Yeah. Oh, sweet. You just okay. rub it on your pants like that. It comes off. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the black rock doesn't leave a stain. You're in it. Dude, that's so cool. There's a, I mean, I'm just going to leave the camera rolling with stuff like this. It's crazy. I want to stick Here. the machine down there. Real okay. Quick. I got both these. This is your box. Isn't it? Yeah. Yep. This still something in there. Holy, <laughs> no way. Crazy. Just dig it out. Yeah, I mean, I definitely would like to see some more. If you don't, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you've been dialed in the last two days. Oh, no button. Yep. I'm ready. <laughs> there was some like, dude, you were <laughs> killing me. What in the world? <laughs> yeah, well, almost to, just to the left a little bit, the center. You are killing me. Louisiana. Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Alright yeah, guys, I just pulled this little grommet out. They could have been to a 10 or something like that. Looks like it's period from the bracket, but then Matt just got what looks like some sort of crude button with some pattern yeah, on it. That's interesting. So there's still stuff out here. There's been a little bit few and far between today. I guarantee you I've dug enough square nails to build a house. So you may be wondering, well, what can a pulse machine do that a regular VLF metal detector can't? It's that, and I know this doesn't look very deep, but here is the pro pointer. At full length, this thing is eight inches, right? So check this out. It is literally about 16 inches deep, and look what was down there. Oh, got me one, guys. Look at that. Got me another one. Nice little three ringer. I don't know enough about these to tell you exactly what it is yet, but it looks like it's gonna be a 58 caliber. Uh, maybe a swage. We'll have to clean the inside out here in a minute. Uh, all the guys are up on the hill up there. You can see everybody kind of on their hands and knees digging it out. We don't have but a few minutes left today to dig. So look at that. I will take it. I'm happy with that. All right, so we've got separated. We've been hunting in the same fields, but these fields are so big, they're everywhere. But without Matt Howell, I would not have ever came to DIV. He talked me into it. He's found some amazing stuff, and he's going to have another side to this story, if you will, with different finds in it. So be sure you go check him out. Tell him where to find you at, man. You guys can find me anywhere on social media, Twitter, Instagram, X, whatever they call it. Facebook and YouTube, especially, over at Gone Digging and uh, GoneDigging.net. Yep. But uh, super glad to have Brandon out. We've been talking about this for years and uh there's just more to come yeah absolutely this is a blast there again he's got a really cool website though like you said gone digging.net that's got a lot of uh blog style posts in it that are tips tricks uh best finds all kinds of cool stuff so y'all be sure to check that out i hope that y'all enjoyed our adventure northward if you did be sure that you're subscribed and we will see you guys in the next adventure